one for your tour for my tours yes well it depends on the on the clients if they uh, depends sometimes they, they tell me oh. you know they ask me um, where they want to go and what they want to do what uh, what type of wines they want if not I usually take them to a, a, door, a port wine uh, thing which is the case so for just, it is a port air wine area, so you may not be a port wine lover, but at least you'll get to know the area by tasting oh, the, yes. the local wine. Okay, so I'm just gonna stop here. Yeah. Uh, it has an average age of three years, 
the fourth one is always the average ages because uh, we play one with different ages inside of the same box. So there's younger and older ones in this box, okay? Three years of average age. And that happens with all the fours, with the exception of the vintage fours. Vintage just don't have an age, they have a year, right? It's the vintage from the year, whatever, 1999, 1912. Okay, so there you go. This one, three years of average age. It's a medium dry port. Um, so it's medium dry, it's not super sweet. Because it's not super sweet, it's going to be great as an appetizer. You are still going to be hungry after drinking this if you don't drink too much, obviously. <laughs> well, uh, and then the raw the flavor that we find on this one are some tropical fruits and some vanilla. And that is going to be a great combination for what? A cocktail. If you add tonic water, two slices of lemon and some freshness, it's going to be really, really good. Now that it's over here, out there killing us. Let's kill it with a cocktail. Why not, okay? Yeah, <laughs> And then number two, it's a ruby. It's a separate body steel. It's a ruby. It's easy for you to know that it's a ruby because of the color. It's super intense, super opaque, like a normal red wine color, actually. This one is Founders Reserve. Reserve means higher quality and older. So five years of average age. So it aged longer, it oxidized longer. What does oxidation do again? It changes the wine's properties. So it changed something on this wine. Apparently not the color, it's still um, dark, really dark. Um, man, like this. There you go. Great. Um, so, apparently not the color, but in the aromas and flavors. Besides the red fruit aromas that we always find on every ruby, we are going to find some chocolate notes in this one. And that tells us that it's going to be really great with chocolate desserts, like a chocolate cake, chocolate mousse. Uh, and then because of the, the red fruits, with a red fruits cheesecake or fruit salad, right? And then the number three for the ones that have five fourths is, uh, again, a ruby, but it's a Val Vintage from 1999, okay? This is a vintage. It was bottled two years later in 2001. So it has been developing inside of this bottle, like this, sideways, since 2001. It's still a ruby, but the color changed a little bit because um, you know, it has sediment, the vintages are not filtered, so they're going to develop inside of the bottle. Not like all the other parts, which is just in the oak that they develop, the vintage just eats inside of the bottle that they reach maturity. Okay, that's why the color changed a little bit as well. Um, this is going to be great with um, some creamy cheeses, you know, uh, with a fruit pie, why not? Um, it's going to be really great as well. Um, well, with chocolate desserts. All rubies are great with chocolate desserts. But in this case, the Founders Reserve. It's great uh, because it's a Founders Reserve, so it's inspired by our founder, George Sandman. It's great just on its own, like that, or with two rocks of ice, uh, as we call it, Founders on the Rocks. Okay, it's really, really good. And now, we are going to enter the world of tonics, my favorite of all time. You, the ones that have three ports, you have this uh, Imperial Reserve. This one has an average age, uh, age of seven years. Again, reserve higher quality and older. Seven years of average age. It's a number four that you have, okay? Um, it's going to be great as a digestive. Johnny's are perfect digestives. It's going to be great as well with some dried fruits, with some nuts, because we find those things on this port wine. Dried fruits, nuts, raisins, caramel. For the ones that have five port wines, the number five is going to be a 20 year old tonic. So as you see the color changed a lot, right? It changed a lot because it's, it's a young, uh, it's an older tonic. We, told, we find a lot of vanilla in the aromas and a lot of honey. It's going to be great as well with a coffee, with a cigarette or a cigar. I don't know if you smoke, but probably you should start smoking because of this, okay? <laughs> it's really good. And then with cheeses, you know, stronger cheeses, uh, the one super intense and sometimes even smell bad. Um, it's going to be great because tonics are more complex, so um, they handle more complex and intense things. So with um, cheeses, it's going to be really, really good. Okay? Do you have any questions? Yes, ma'am. We never serve ours cold. Well, we do now. We didn't. Uh, we didn't do it for a long, long time. But now they found out that if you serve it cold, it's going to be smoother. You don't feel so much of the sweetness, nor the alcohol. Okay. Any more questions on the port wines or on the tour? 
No? So, great. Thank you very much for your attention. This is the end of the tour. I haven't forgot about you. Um, thank you. <laughs> Restrooms are over here in this corridor. Men to the left because we...